Hello YouTubers and everyone out there learning the banjo. Um, here's another video this week for you to learn. It's another English tune this week, which is fun. It's a good tune to know um, if you ever get called upon at the last minute to play for a Morris dance. Not that there's much Morris dancing going on at the moment. There's not a lot of anything going on at the moment really, is there with the lockdown. Anyway, this is a good one to have up your sleeve along with um, the Winston Gallop and Speed to Plough, two well-known staples of that sort of English melodian music. Uh, this is often played in G, so it's the right key on the banjo, and it actually falls quite nicely um, on the five-string banjo and G tuning, which is good. So it starts out with a couple of hammer-ons. So we're going to hammer on on the second fret of the third string, and then the first fret of the second string, and then in fact we're going to do a third hammer-on on the second fret of the first string. And then you're going to take that finger off before the brush thumb. So all together, it sounds like this. Hammer, 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 brush thumb. Knock, cam, knock, cam, knock, cam, brush thumb. One, two, three, four. Good. The next bit, um, in fact, we double up that knock ham brush thumb at the end. And I just want to be a bit more explicit about that because we're going to, we're doing a knock on the first string, we hammer the finger on the second fret. Then we need to take the finger off before the brush thumb. So again, di da do do, because the actual tune is di da do da, but we're going to do da do do. Kind of an important detail, otherwise the melody won't sound how it's supposed to. So sometimes we do a hammer and leave it on. That keeps that note six hanging up there. Sometimes do a hammer. Take it off. This time we take it off. And I'm going to double that hammer on at the end. So it's going to sound like this. Now the melody travels down, it does this chord, which I hope you'll know it's a C major chord, so second fret of the fourth string, open third, first fret here, second fret on the first string, and we're going to play on this string. So we can't. It is there, just checking. So we're playing on that second fret first fret of the second string on C to an open G on the second string then we make our D7 chord and we're going to knock two three three that's the strings the descending bit starts on a C chord on the second string open second two three three try that again from the C Try the bit with the hammers at the start, the question phrase. One, two, three, hammer up. C chord, open G, D7. So the good news about the structure of this tune is it's got a classic question and answer structure, which means we go line A, line B, line A repeats, line C. Um, I often think if it's question and answer, how come you ask the same question twice and get different answers? It makes me worry that the person answering the question is not giving a very accurate answer. If you ask the same question twice, get a different answer, very suspicious. Nonetheless, that's the structure of this tune, also known as um, 
a, a rondo or something in classical music? I don't know, something like that. So the question phrase is this. The answer phrase is the C, the G, and the D7. Then we do the question phrase again. The answer starts the same way. This is very normal as well that the second time it ends it resolves the first time it might end on a d7 and keep the tension so you know the tune keeps going but the second time it resolves so for our second answer all we're going to do is we're going to play the c chord open second string on a g we're going to reach our finger for the first fret of the second string as if we're doing a d7 we're going to knock that string and pull off down on the second fret of the third string, knock that string and play over. So with the rhythm in place, that pull off at any end is knock, pull, knock, 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 pull, knock, knock. You might find if you're just starting out, it's harder to do that pull off on the first fret of the second string than it normally is on the second fret because it's just that bit closer to the nut. But just practice and make sure you try and keep the finger. You want the optimal position close to the fret there, not up here, but there. Then you'll be able to get more purchase to go knock, pull, knock, knock. Let's try the whole of that second answer, which is the one with the pull off at the end. Starts on C. And then pull off. So we can now put the whole of the A part together. We go question phrase, which is hammering up. Answer phrase comes down and doesn't resolve. Question phrase hammers up. Answer phrase comes down and does resolve. Here we go. One, two, three, four. C chord. Open D7 chord. Let's have a look at the second part now. It starts up, up here on the fifth fret. When you go up to the fifth fret, as always, I want you to make sure you use your ring finger or your little finger if you prefer, but don't go all the way up with this because otherwise your whole hand position is up here. I mean, the only time we want to get that index finger on the fifth fret is when we're traveling up the banjo upwards, but here we're going to go back down. So I'm going to use my ring finger probably. I'm going to go. <laughs> That. so it's three knocks in the brush thumb so we go and then we go so the next bit on the end we play the fifth fret again move my fingers down one fret I'm going to use my first and my um, ring finger, first and third fingers, and I'm going to do a pull off from four to two, and then play the open string. So it goes five, pull off, oh. one, two, three, try that. First phrase, do 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 da do da. Here we go, and one more time goes. Good. 
if you're having trouble doing that pull off, and I think I did this the last time just once in my initial demonstration show, you can always go. And lose the pull off. So that's just five, 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 four, oh. Whichever way you do it, the great news is I'm pretty sure this we've now got the whole of the B part down, believe it or not, because if we understand the structure, the A, B, A, C question and answer structure, this is a new question phrase, but the answer phrase stays the same. So we play our question phrase. tidy 12 minutes is how to play the um, speed the plow <laughs> all the way through so let's try and play the whole thing now all the way through um, oh if you found this useful please do like and subscribe and tell your friends share I've got more subscribers than I did um, even a week ago it's nice to imagine all the people playing their banjos in their places across the UK all the world who knows it's the internet it's everywhere um, Let's start from the start. We're going to do these hammer ons. One, two, hammer up. C chord. D seven. Hammer up. So that's how to play Speed to Plow on the banjo. Um, have fun guys, see you soon.